what is the difference between conventional current and electron flow? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. So let's say if we have a resistor and on one side of the resistor we have an electric potential of let's say positive 20 volts and the other side let's say it's negative 15 volts. The voltage, which is the electric potential difference, is 35 volts across this resistor. In what direction will electricity flow in this resistor? Well, according to conventional current, current is going to flow from a region of high potential to a region of low electric potential. So conventional current is going to flow from positive 20 to negative 15 in this example. Now, when dealing with metal wires and resistors, electrons are the particles that are actually moving inside a wire. So in reality, the electrons, they're not going to move from positive to negative. They actually move from a region of low electric potential to a region of high electric potential. So these two currents are opposite in direction. So make sure you understand this. Conventional current represents the flow of positive charge, which goes from high potential to low potential. Electrons, they flow in the other direction. They flow from a region of low potential to a region of high potential. So let's say if we have a circuit, let's say we have a battery attached to a resistor. This is the positive terminal of the battery, and this is the negative terminal of the battery. Conventional current will flow in this direction, from positive to negative. But in reality, what's actually happening in these wires, electrons are flowing in the opposite direction, from negative to positive. Another way to see this is imagine if we have two parallel plates. The plate on the left, this is going to be a positively charged plate. And the one on the right will be a negatively charged plate. Let's say this one is at a potential of 100 volts, and the other one has an electric potential of negative 100 volts. There's going to be an electric field that goes from the positive plate, and it's going to point towards the negative plate. Now, if we were to place a proton in this electric field, where will the proton go? The proton is going to feel a force that is going to accelerate it towards the negatively charged plate because opposites attract. So it's going to accelerate towards the lower potential. In other words, it wants to move from a region of high potential to a region of low potential, much in the direction of conventional current. Negative charges, well, they behave differently. If you put a negative charge in an electric field, it's going to feel a force that will accelerate it opposite in the direction of the electric field. The electrons, they're going to be attracted to the positively charged plate. And so they're going to move from a region of low potential to a region of high potential. So make sure you understand that conventional current is really associated with the flow of positive charge, and it moves from a region of high potential to low potential whereas electrons, which are negatively charged, they flow in the other direction. They're going to move from a region of low potential to high potential. And when dealing with electricity, typically you're going to have wires which are made of metal and electrons are the charge carriers inside of metal. The protons, they don't really move in a metal. The electrons are the ones that are free to move, so they're the charge carriers. So whenever you have a circuit, what's really happening is you have electrons moving from a region of low electric potential to a region of high electric potential. So that's the difference between conventional current and electron flow. They move in opposite directions. And remember, conventional current is associated with the flow of positive charge. Electron flow is associated with the flow of negative charge. So they're going to be opposite in direction. Now, for those of you who want more videos on electric circuits and electronics, feel free to check out the links in the description section below.